Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and today I'm looking at an exercise from homework 9.3. This is number 16. I had a question about it in the forums. Sorry it's a little bit late. Uh, don't forget you can uh, email me with questions if, uh, if you want an answer from me right away. Sometimes I don't see these forum posts for a couple of days. But here's the problem. It says find uh, z times w and z divided by w. Leave your answers in polar form. And they give us these two complex numbers here, 2 minus 2i and the square root of 3 plus i. Uh, this is really just about doing some formulas here. So the main formula that we need is on page 604 here. And uh, this is the um, products and quotients of complex numbers. So I'm going to leave this right here. Remember, you can always go to the book and look some examples too. But uh, here's the form that we're going to put it in. So it looks like we're going to need the radius for both of these. Uh, we're also going to need the angle for both of these as well. And then we're just going to plug it in here, do the uh, sum and the difference there. And uh, we should be good. We should be good. So let's go ahead and start solving for our stuff. So to find the, the radius, which is the magnitude of these, uh, we just use that distance formula. Um, so for the first one, so for uh, this is z, um, that's going to equal the square root of, and it's 2 squared plus negative 2 squared, 2 squared plus negative 2 squared. Remember, uh, we're just using that distance formula, and this is the distance from the origin, um, and this is going to end up giving us uh, 4 plus 4, which is the square root of 8, square root of 8, and I can pull out a 4, or I can take, uh, a, per I can take a factor of a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square, um, so I can do 4 times 2, so this becomes 2 root 2. All right, so that is for our R1. This is R1. Uh, and this is for the Z value there. Um, I shouldn't probably put like a Z like that, but uh, that's that's what we have. All right, so let's find the second radius. So R2, R2 is going to equal, uh, we're going to do the same kind of thing except for this. So the square root of 3 squared plus, and then that's a 1 squared, 1 squared. So our 2 is going to equal uh, square root of 3 squared is 3, 1 squared is 1, so that's a square root of 4, so this is just going to end up being 2. This is going to end up being 2. All right, so I've got my R1 and my R2 for uh, both of these cases. Now I need to get my my theta here. So uh, what I like to do is, and they give you a couple of different options, um, but I like to use the inverse tangent um, because it'll either give me the correct theta or I have to add 180 degrees to it. And it just depends what quadrant it's in. So for this first one right here, this is going two to the right and then two down. So that's going to be in quadrant four. And this one right here is going to be square root of 3 to the right and 1 up. So that's going to be in quadrant 1. Now, luckily for us, the, um, oh, what word am I thinking of? Uh, the domain of the inverse tangent function is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, which happens to be quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So uh, it looks like we're not going to need to add that 180 degrees or add that pi to either of these answers because it should give us the correct quadrants right away. If they happen to be in quadrant 2 or 3, then that's when we have to add 180 degrees to whatever answer we get. So for the uh, theta 1, oops, that's a Q, not a uh, for the theta 1, that's the angle of this first one here. Remember, that's in the fourth quadrant. Uh, this is going to be the inverse tangent. Inverse tangent of uh, negative 2 divided by 2, y over x. So negative 2 divided by 2. 
So this is just the inverse tangent of negative 1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in my calculator here. Uh, you should be able to figure that out, but uh, I always like to double check here. So make sure I'm going to make sure I'm in degrees because it's much easier to read the angles when they are in degrees and then convert them to uh, radians later. So if I do the inverse tangent of negative 1, I'm going to get uh, that's negative 45 degrees. And let's see, do they want this in... Uh, degrees or radians. I think they want this one in degrees, although I think it says it in the thing. So I'm going to leave that as is equal to negative 45, but I'll go ahead and put that in standard form. So uh, I can add 360 to it. And that is going to be 315 degrees. And look, I did a Q again there. So that will be uh, 300 and we said 15 degrees. Yes, 315 degrees. All right, to find the theta 2, I'm going to do the same. Look, I didn't make a Q now. The same kind of thing. So it's the inverse tangent. of. And notice that this is in the fourth quadrant, and that's in the fourth quadrant, so we're good. So this is the inverse tangent of 1 over root 3. 1 over root 3. And once again, I can do this if you don't want to kind of use your circle and, and do a little bit of a couple of computations there. We can just do second inverse tangent of 1 divided by the square root of 3. And I get 30 degrees. So this, so theta 2. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that Q. I don't know why I keep doing the, two, the Q. Something is wrong with my brain. Theta 2 is equal to 30 degrees. All right. So now I've got all of my stuff for these problems. So for the product, so ZW, ZW, that's going to equal R1 times R2. So R1 is 2 root 2. R2 is just uh, 2. times the cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2. So that's 315 plus 30. So 315 degrees plus 30 degrees. Plus I times the sine of 315 plus 30. I'm just writing it all out first, and then I will uh, correct it. And they want us to leave it in the polar form. So this is just going to become 2 root 2 times 2. That's just 4 root 2. Root 2 times the cosine of 345. 345 degrees plus I sine of 345. All right, we can just leave it just like that. Now, if they wanted this back in the uh, complex form here, the A plus BI form, uh, what we could do then is we could find the cosine of 345, which I'll let you do, and then distribute that with 4 root 2, and that'll give you your A plus BI form. All right, for the next one here, I am going to do Z over W. Z over W, so that's what they wanted me to find. So that's going to be equal R1 over R2. So that's 2 root 2 over 2 times the cosine of, and this time I'm just going to calculate there, theta 1 minus theta 2. That's 315 minus 30. That's going to be 285. 285 degrees plus I sine of 285 degrees. And finally, that 2 cancels out with that 2, so I'm just left with the square root of 2 out front. And that's it. That's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks.